Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my version for orange chicken. So this is a recipe you guys keep requesting and I wanted to show you how we make it at our house. It's a little bit lighter than the traditional deep fried orange chicken, but just as good. Let me show you how to put it together. So we're first gonna start by prepping our chicken. I like to use chicken tenders for this because I find that the meat is a little bit more succulent than if you use chicken breast, but you could use chicken breast as well. You're just gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces and then roll it in some cornstarch. This is gonna protect the meat as it cooks and it'll also keep it nice and moist. Then you can set that aside and then we are going to prep our orange sauce. Now this sauce has just about everything but the kitchen sink in it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it does make it really good by adding all these different flavors. And hopefully most of the stuff you already have on hand. If not, all you have to do is just stock up on the condiments and you can make this anytime because you'll be all ready to go. For the sauce, in a small bowl, we're going to add a third of a cup of low sodium soy sauce. And then at this stage, you can either add a tablespoon of honey or a tablespoon of orange marmalade. I know this is not a very traditional thing to add. It's sort of my little secret ingredient, but it does make it so delicious. And then I also like to add a teaspoon of chili paste, one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, and then the zest of an orange. It's usually about a teaspoon and a half that you'll get. And then a quarter cup of fresh orange juice. So it's nice, you can use the zest and the juice from one orange. Then we're also gonna add two garlic cloves that have been minced, one teaspoon of freshly grated ginger, and a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. And then in a small glass, we're gonna add a tablespoon of cornstarch with a tablespoon of water. You're gonna mix that up with a fork and then pour that in your sauce. And this little cornstarch slurry is basically going to help our sauce thicken up as it cooks. Okay, so our chicken is ready to go and our sauce is all prepped. And then the next thing we're gonna do is heat some oil in a large pan or a wok, whatever you have, until it's nice and shimmering. And then we are going to drop in our chicken in batches. I'm gonna do it in batches just so we don't crowd it. And that will allow that chicken to form a nice crust on it. And just let it cook for a few minutes on each side until it's all nice and browned. You can remove it while you make way for the next batch. And then once your chicken is all cooked, you wanna throw it all back in your pan and add your sauce. And at this stage, the sauce will start to bubble and thicken and just make sure that you're getting all of that chicken nice and coated in the sauce. And you probably wanna let it go until it reduces by at least half. And you'll see it'll start to get kind of syrupy and thick. That's when you know it's done. And then you can transfer it to a serving platter. And then I like to garnish with some sesame seeds and a little bit of scallion that has been sliced just on the diagonal. Looks really pretty that way. Angel Wong taught me that one. And then you can also top it with a slice of orange. I like to use little mandarin oranges because they're so small. You can do a full wheel and just pop it on top. And there you have it, dinner is ready. You can go ahead and serve this with just your favorite white rice. And it makes for such a great weeknight meal or a Sunday night dinner. This is also a recipe that my kids love. So if you're trying to introduce new foods to your children, I tell you, this is a real kid-friendly favorite. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And remember, for all the printable recipes, you can now head to my blog, Entertaining with Beth, and you can find a printable version of it there. All right, you guys, I will see you back here next week for another easy and delicious recipe. Until then, bye. Make it ooze with the unthinkable. Don't stop till you come first. Life so unpredictable. Take control of what you're worth. Wasting time's forgivable, but nobody wants to grow old. It's time for the original to come.